Last year, we saw the release of Dell's new super sleek and slim Alienware X16 series with the launch of the Alienware X16 R1. For 2024, we've got the Alienware X16 R2 featuring Intel's new Meteor Lake processors. In terms of externals, the Alienware X16 R2 looks identical to the R1, so it's only the internals that have seen a change. This review unit comes with the latest Intel Core Ultra 9 185H, which is paired with a 175W NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 laptop GPU. You also have a large 1600 pixel Quad HD Plus display with a refresh rate of 240Hz and Cherry MX keys. All of this will set you back by a staggering 4.6 lakhs, but is the LMR X16 R2 truly worth the price? Well, let's dive in and find out. Like we mentioned, in terms of build, the case remains the same as last year's model. However, that doesn't mean we weren't drooling all over it at the digit test labs. The laptop's design is quintessential Alienware, with a silver aluminium lid, the hexagonal ventilation grills, the rear LED ring, the matte black keyboard, and of course, the lit Alienware logo in the center of the lid, with the X embossed near the bottom. It's also on the larger side for a 16-inch laptop, thanks to the extended rear, which houses all of the Alienware X16 R2 ports. Speaking of ports, you've got a 3.5mm audio combo jack, two Type-C ports, one of which is a Thunderbolt 4 port, the other supports PD Plus display. You also have two USB A3.2 Gen 1 ports, a mini display port, an HDMI 2.1 port, and a micro SD card reader. Whew. Coming to the display, our unit came with a Quad HD+, Plus, that is 2560 into 1600 resolution IPS display and a refresh rate of 240Hz. But you also have a 1920 into 1200 display variant which features a blistering 480Hz refresh rate. During our testing, we saw a peak tested brightness of 349 nits, which is a bit on the lower side as far as laptops in this price segment are concerned. Coming to color accuracy, we tested 100% sRGB coverage and 98.4% DCI-P3 color gamut coverage, which are both great. We ran all of our benchmarks on the performance preset in the Alienware command center. That said, there is an overdrive preset as well, which will arguably give you even better numbers. The biggest difference between the R1 and the R2 is the processor. The Intel Core Ultra 9 185H has consistently underperformed in both single and multi-thread benchmarks when compared to the previous 14th gen and even the older 13th gen Intel Core i9 processors. This includes the Intel Core i9 3900HK which was present in the Alienware X16 R1. The RAM on the new R2 is much faster though, with the laptop offering 7467 mega threads per second compared to the 6000 mega threads per second on the R1. Coming to gaming performance, we started off with synthetic performance for which we used the 3D Mark benchmark. Once again, numbers were lower across the board when compared to other non-ultra processor gaming laptops featuring RTX 4090s. This trend continued in real-world gaming benchmarks as well, with the performance taking a hit almost across the board. The numbers aren't terrible by any means, but they do disappoint when you start comparing to other gaming laptops with the same GPU in this price segment. Having tested several other ultra processor gaming laptops which have similarly displayed weaker benchmark results, we believe that it might be better to avoid ultra processors if you're looking for a purely gaming machine, at least for the time being. During our stress test, the peak CPU core temps hit the 92 degree mark. Meanwhile, the GPU hit the 80 degree mark. Surface temps averaged around the 34 degree Celsius mark, with peak surface temperatures around the WHD cluster specifically at 44 degrees Celsius. With that, we've come to our verdict. The presence of an NPU onboard makes the Alienware X16 R2 future-proof and capable of accelerated AI-related tasks. However, as far as gaming is concerned, an NPU brings nothing to the table, at least right now. If anything, they are slowing down raw CPU performance, which is dropping gaming performance. And we'll let you decide if that makes sense for a gaming laptop. That was our review of the new Alienware X16 R2. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to drop a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more such reviews from us. Thanks for watching. I can let